Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have had some requests on how to uh, use uh, magnets in uh, mini albums and uh, craft uh, projects so I thought I would uh, make a separate video for that and uh, show you a bit how I use my magnets and uh, we'll also show you a bit in the end of the video some storage for dice or so with uh, magnets so I um, can maybe start talking a bit about the magnets uh, first. Usually I uh, use uh, this 8mm magnets and these are without uh, any glue on and this you can get at uh, eBay or I buy them anyway at eBay and they are really affordable. Um, just type in super strong magnets and 1mm and you will find a lot and uh, many of the sellers have uh, free shipping also but I will link to one of them below so and I also sometimes use um, 10 millimeters and sometimes 12 millimeters but for the most I use uh, these 8 milli millimeters in my uh, mini albums so it depends a bit how um, uh, much uh, the paper build up it's, uh, if it's a lot of uh, layering and so so we uh, can show you some uh, different here so oops so here I have a base of a mini album that I showed in a, a mini album tutorial just uh, for the base of it and for uh, one and a half year ago I think it was it was for uh, the wishing well mini album so I will link to the tutorial for this base as well if you like to know how to make uh, yeah the base of it so then uh, here are a lot of uh, flips and fold outs and so and it builds up a lot so I will show you some uh, different uh, thickness of uh, this uh, uh, or uh, sizes for this uh, magnet so we can start with the 8 millimeter here and then I like to use uh, score tape so but here you can use uh, tape uh, or you can use a glossy accent to glue it uh, down with uh, my friend Linda at uh, Live Art Now, she has a really great tutorial and she uses uh, tape. So I will link to that below as well if you like to know. So then I place uh, one magnet uh, down here and when you are gluing paper over here, it can, um, uh, if you take it uh, much to the side, it uh, won't glue so uh, well down on the side. So I take it a bit in. So. And also when I glue this paper down, I um, don't take any glue over uh, the magnet. I just take uh, tape around or liquid glue or anything. So and then we can flip this over and we can uh, take a magnet on the top here and see if that will be hold. And you see it's not enough here. So then we need a magnet inside here as well. So then I just place one over and take some more glue on here. So and then I can flip maybe the flip here. I can take it inside here or on the flip. I take it on the flip I think. And glue that down. And I also want this uh, flap to hold uh, down, so then we can take another one on the inside. I don't like uh, the magnets on the front usually, but uh, and also it builds up with one more layer, so I ha will have it on the back here. So where did it go? <laughs> so then I just take some glue here. Down. So, so then I think this will hold uh, down. Now you must remember it uh, if you are using many uh, layers like this and also uh, attach paper and maybe a photo over it will build up a lot and then you can attach one more magnet when you take the photo inside if you like to. So can show you maybe on one more page here and with a this is the same thickness I think, so then we can take the 12 millimeter. So here I can take it inside uh, the flap here. So. And now the 
magnet inside will come longer in. So we'll see here and take one more over here. So, and some glue on top. press this down here. So, and now you see the magnet goes in the middle here. So it depends on how you want your magnets to be attached. So and uh, yeah. And if you want some embellishments that you, you want uh, to take off your pages, you can, you can show on this one. Uh, maybe you want a pocket. Here I'm working on something or some uh, magnet boards uh, with uh, time to celebrate the papers. So then you can take a magnet inside here if you want that loose. Take it out. <laughs> so, and now you can take a strip of, um, of uh, tape over to fasten it. Or you can uh, glue it down. I think I had some tape under this one. So, and uh, then you can take uh, usually use a round punch out some paper over here and you can glue it just around here on the back side with some liquid glue or square tape so and I've already done that with the pockets here so uh, then we can place the magnet behind so where I had the magnet on this side here so maybe you can see the tape inside here so and uh, then we can take some glue on the back side here. So, and uh, see, so can place it if I want it on the top here, maybe. So, and then you can glue down your uh, paper. Let's see if I can find one here. On the paper here we can use so again remember not to take any glue over here so just around so then you can glue down your paper and this will fasten on here with a tag inside maybe and I will also show you some smaller embellishments you can use on here so yeah and also you can, uh, it's a lot of uh, fun you can do uh, with the uh, flaps and uh, fold outs in mini albums and you, here I have uh, just a flap, you can glue it down and just take it some repositional glue here so let's take this magnet off here so you can fasten a flap on the top and you can take uh, your magnet inside here, so in the middle about, and then one more over, Let's see if I can find one more, and one more tape over here. So. Like so, and then you will have a flap that folds up, magnetic. And I can maybe show you one more uh, thing here. If you want a, a very a thick fold out, I had that in my album with um, uh, it was uh, the folio, and you do the same for this. And then I like to place my magnets in the middle, else you uh, you need two. You can take one on each uh, side, uh, like so, if you like, or you can take one in the middle. So if you take one in the middle, you maybe need a larger, stronger magnet. So I can maybe show you with a large uh, magnet here. So can take that in the middle here, and then flip it over. And take one more on the back. So, and again, if this is a very thick build-up, you maybe need to take one more inside. Let's see if I can show you that as well. So then we can take one more inside here and then you are really sure it's closing up. So this can be attached here on a mini album and folds out. So, so 
then we have a long strip with magnets that closes. So, and um, yeah, I can maybe show you some smaller embellishments if you like to make some from paper. You can have it uh, in your albums or layouts or uh, on a refrigerator. <laughs> now I'm not sure I'm pronouncing the word right. But then I um, here I fussy cut out the butterfly that I'm going to use uh, on my memory memo board. So then I take just a strip of paper here or a glue <laughs> and uh, have this. And now you can use a regular glue if you like, or you can take some multimat. This is from Ranger. Then I take just the multimat on the sides here, not over the, the um, magnet. So. Here about. And then I try to form it down because now the magnet builds up in the middle here. So show you more how this uh, looks uh, later in the video when it's uh, cut out. So, maybe you can see it here. So then you can also use uh, this to touch on, um, on a page if you like to. Now I took the magnet away. But if you have uh, you can take this magnet here maybe. Or this one some glue on so hopefully it's the right way and it wasn't have to turn it around so take off the glue here so and now place your paper over this will fasten and you can maybe attach the tag or so under here so to hold it in place so that think was from for the mini album or maybe I can show you as well. You can also use magnet sheets like this but these are not so strong. I'll show you a bit here to glue down and uh, this you can get from uh, uh, X-Cut I think that's American Crafts and Nelly Snellen and uh, when you buy dies from uh, X-Cut they come with uh, these uh, sheets uh, that's a bit thicker because uh, this is a bit uh, thin so then you maybe need a stronger magnet so now I had 8mm here so it will hold but when you take a lot of layering here it maybe it's not enough you see it won't hold so then you need a stronger magnet so these are just for some smaller if you like to have some smaller embellishments on here so it won't hold so good but uh, this is a really thin one so if you use a thicker one it will hold better so then I can maybe show you some on um, some uh, memo boards or layouts I'm working on so here I'm working on a memo, memo board and um, here I just glue down this uh, sheet of uh, magnet so uh, this is not uh, so strong but I thought I could uh, show you a bit so I already made uh, finish uh, the front here so then I will glue this on here and then you can attach uh, here is a pocket with a magnet this in here so it stacks with a magnet also placed a couple of magnets here behind here so and uh, here I stamped a little tag, like so, and here is uh, the butterfly, and I um, attached the one uh, smaller here as well. And it's uh, best to use uh, this uh, thin paper, you can also use copy paper behind here, so it doesn't build so much with a magnet. So this can be placed in top here, so you can see here. So now it stays in place. But this is not st super strong, this you see here. So, yeah, it will hold, but not so many layers. And um, I was working on another one, so you can see here. And here I will just have uh, some magnets behind, so I thought I could show you a bit here how I'm thinking. I've uh, cut this lady out uh, twice and placed a magnet behind here. And also 
here, so I will show you on the back side here. So, oops, <laughs> not finished yet. So, um, here you can see, I just uh, place where I want uh, these uh, images here, so I can take this off, it's uh, loose. So I see I want this on top here. So, and then flip it over and um, find the place I want it. But then you can't move it so much around as you can if you are using a, a magnet sheet. Then you can move, move uh, the magnets um, around. I can maybe show you on this one again. So this will now fasten wherever I put it. This here. So here it has to stay in that place. So I just uh, place them random over where I think I want them. Also I have one more here, maybe attach uh, this tag here. I also have this with a magnet inside here, so maybe I will put the magnet behind here, I'm not sure. So I can maybe take one behind here and you can see. So here is a bit uh, thick layer because uh, these uh, tags are a bit thicker from the cutouts, so I can take uh, maybe a larger magnet here. So I'm sure it will hold. So then I can glue this down and I can also use some tape to glue this uh, fasten with here. And then I can glue it back on this board here. So yeah. And uh, you can also use um, shipboard uh, cutouts from the paper line and place a magnet behind here and glue it on. And uh, it's a lot you can do. And, um, a larger one if you ha want to have it on uh, your uh, uh, refrigerator. <laughs> Sorry, I don't pronounce it right, <laughs> but it's um, yeah where you have your cold food and have it here with a um, if you have a um, list of things you need to find uh, buy. So then you can uh, write your list here and attach it here so you remember it. And uh, you can also use uh, this one. Uh, with a larger magnet behind on your refrigerator or uh, anything else so that it's uh, magnetic to have some uh, remembering list or anything. And you can also uh, give this as a gift for a bride and uh, have um, a list attached here what she needs to uh, get for her wedding or yeah. It's a lot of fun you can do or you can make a birthday like this. Uh, and attach a list here when uh, your children's birthday or a friend's birthday or yeah so it's a lot of uh, fun you can do with this uh, memo boards so then I can maybe show you some storage I uh, use my magnets for so you can also store your uh, dice on this. I use this a lot for my die storage. I don't keep them in my package anymore because then I can't see what I have. <laughs> I do have a lot of uh, uh, dice now, so <laughs> I need to see them. So uh, then you can store them on uh, this and put them in a book or uh, you can have them on your wall. I do have a lot of uh, my, um, my um, dice on a wall, so I will... Um, Put a picture up of it now. And uh, you can also uh, have this, um, just place some magnets over, just take some tape here. So, oops, it's because I'm holding this. So, and uh, use this for storing your dice. Maybe have a couple, one under here as well. And I uh, can also maybe show you a book that I keep uh, my dice and so in that I got from uh, Tiffany, totally Tiffany. I'm not sure I'm getting it all in frame here. Maybe zoom out. I can't get it all in frame, but it's a large uh, 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 book here with some. I can open it and show you a bit. So I, here I keep all my Christmas uh, stuff and so. So I can maybe show you a couple of pages here how I do it. So there I can keep my dice so I easy can find them. So again I won't get all in frame here. So but that's uh, just an idea and I really love this uh, storage uh, system. 
so I will link to her shop below as well if you want to know where to find it. So uh, I hope this was a bit uh, helpful and uh, that you got some uh, more ideas how to use your magnets. So uh, have fun creating everyone and if you have any questions uh, please look below the video. There you will find the links uh, to my blog and you will find how I answer questions. So take care and have fun creating. Bye bye.